What's going on everyone? Appreciate y'all taking the time to check out this Fallout 76 video. Hopefully y'all have been enjoying the Fast Night event that came into the game on May 27th and it's planning to last until June 9th. Bethesda actually added an additional week for us to enjoy this limited time event since the delays that they had to do, which was pretty awesome of them. In this video though, I'm going to be showing y'all something that Bethesda took the time to implement into the game that I feel like a lot of players might have missed out on. In case you don't know, if you speak to the Master of Ceremonies with a Fastnot mask on, it actually reacts with a specific dialogue according to what Fastnot mask you're wearing. Which I think it's pretty cool that they took the time to do this. And once again, it's highly underlooked. I don't think a lot of players know about this. And you gotta think about it, Bethesda took the time to hire on this voice actor for the Master of Ceremonies which adds a lot for this limited time event. I mean, could you imagine this event without the Master of Ceremonies saying anything? I mean, don't get me wrong, the music can kind of get to you after a while, but the Master of Ceremonies definitely adds a lot within this limited time event. And I thought it'd be nice to kind of showcase the voice lines that Bethesda took the time implementing into the game with the Master of Ceremonies reacting to specific masks, just to bring more awareness over these voice dialogues. After all, they did implement these for our enjoyment because I mean this comes around once a year so if I'm going to show this off to the community might as well show it off now while it's a hot topic and going on in the game but yeah let's go and get into these reactions now enjoy okay so I guess let's start at the top of the list here and make our way down starting off with the Fasnap Beret Rutsi. Welcome, friend. We are still preparing for the next Fasnap but come back soon and join the fun Welcome, friend. We are still preparing for the next Fasnacht. Okay, so to speed up this process a bit more, let's just say I tried talking to the Master of Ceremonies with the Fasnacht Beret on quite a bit, and it seemed like he had no reaction whatsoever to me wearing this. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So next up here, this mask honestly reminds me of a super mutant. We're going to be rocking the giant mask next. Let's see if he has any reaction to wearing this one. You're looking a little green in the gills. Looking a little green in the gills. Oh, I see. There's gills on this. I never really noticed that either. Let me put something a little better on so you can see that. Wow, you can see the gills on this. I never noticed that. I always thought this was supposed to be some kind of super mutant or something. I really don't even know what this thing is. What is this supposed to be? It's just labeled as a giant. I guess that's what it is. It's a giant with gills. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, moving on to the next one. Let's check out what he has to say over the goblin mask. A time for indulgence before a time of night. Do enjoy yourselves. Something tells me you like fire. So stick around for fast night. We'll have plenty. Hmm. So that's what he says over the goblin mask. Something tells him that I like fire. I mean, this thing does look demonic. I, I can... Kind of see where he's coming from with that. Anyways, moving on. Let's see what he has to say over the Jester mask. I love this mask personally. It looks really great with the Insurgent outfit. Let me go ahead and show you guys that real quick. This Insurgent outfit we just recently got from the Limited Time Treasure Hunter event. It blends really nicely with it, I think. It's going to be an outfit that I'll be rocking every now and then. You know, now that I'm telling you what I like rocking with the Jester mask, I'm curious what you guys like rocking with specific masks that you enjoy. But anyways, let's go ahead and see what he says over me wearing this Jester mask. I suppose you think you're very funny. Of course. <laughs> yeah, it's a Jester. And of course he says, I suppose you think you're very funny. But, uh, I mean, that makes perfect sense. Let's move on now. Let's keep this rolling. Next up here, I got the Fasnacht Man mask, which you can just find this regularly throughout the game. You don't technically get this from the Fasnacht event itself. But yeah, let's see if he has anything to say over this. It does have Fasnacht in the name of this mask. You haven't been buying, have you? <laughs> wow. That's a Pinocchio reference right there. <laughs> that, <laughs> that makes perfect sense once again. As you can see, look how long this Fosnop man's mask nose is. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Anyways, moving on. Let's see if he has anything to say over the old school uh, Atomic Shop Fosnop uh, mask that we could get back in year one. Starting off with the Moonshine Mama mask. Let's see. Rootsy, welcome, friend. We 
Okay, so to speed up the process here, I did talk to the Master of Ceremonies while wearing the Foss Not Mama Moonshine mask for a while, as you can see here with this fast forward footage, and it had no sort of special dialogue for me wearing this. And it also had no special dialogue for me wearing the Old Man Summer mask, too. I'll go ahead and just show you real quick over me interacting with it. Welcome, friend. We are still preparing for the next Foss Not. Yeah, that's just a short glimpse. I was talking to the Master of Ceremonies for quite some time trying to get some kind of special reaction, but no. It doesn't have any type of special reaction to the uh, Year One Atomic Shop Foss Knot Mask. Moving on, let's check out what he has to say over the Owl Mask. Don't fly away just yet. Huh. Foss Knot is coming. Okay. Yep, so he does have something special to say when you go to interact with them with the Owl Mask. Don't fly away just yet. <laughs> Anyways, moving on, let's see what he has to say over the Fosnot Skull Mask. This is what that looks like. You are become death then. Wow! Referencing one of the main quests in Fallout 76, I am become death. That's the quest that you actually need to complete to launch a nuke. That's insane. I mean, it does make sense why he is saying that I'm death. Because, well, I mean, it's obvious. I'm wearing a skull mask. But anyways, moving on. Let's see if he has anything special to say while wearing the soldier mask. Aren't you a little tall for a Napoleon? <laughs> oh, man. I didn't even think about Napoleon. That's great. It's cool to see Bethesda take the time to add in little things like this. And especially how, you know, a lot of players probably didn't even know about this. They just decided to take the time to do it, which is pretty neat. Let's see what he has to say over the sun mask. Here for the parade. Disappointed? I hope. <laughs> Welcome, friend. Okay, so this one definitely surprised me. I really thought there would be some kind of special reaction from the Master of Ceremonies while wearing the Fosnot sun mask. However, there wasn't. I tried talking to him a lot. Because I thoroughly believed that there would be some kind of special dialogue with this mask, but there once again wasn't. I even tried at night thinking, well, it's a sun mask, maybe he would have some kind of special dialogue at night while wearing it, but no, nothing once again. Because I was starting off trying to talk to him in the daytime. But anyways, moving on, let's see if he has anything to say while wearing the Toothy Man mask. Ah, a mole rat! I guess this is a pretty hideous mask right here. I can kind of see where he's getting at with the mole rat reference. <laughs> it is, after all, called the Toothy Man mask. Okay, anyways, moving on. Let's check out if he has anything to say while wearing the Winter Man mask. Welcome, friend. We are still preparing for the next fast knot. But come back soon and join the fun. Okay, so this was another one that surprised me. Once again... This one also didn't get any kind of special reaction from the Master of Ceremonies. Which is ironic because this is what you literally find on top of the tree. This is supposed to be referencing Old Man Winter. And Master of Ceremonies had no kind of special dialogue to wear in this mask. Trust me, I was trying to interact with him for a very long time. And I didn't get any kind of special response once again. I mean, as you can see here with this fast forward footage, I was attempting it for a while. Let's see if he has anything special to say with the witch mask. Don't let the bonfire startle you. We're much more pleasant than Salem. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, I got that reference. The Salem witch trials. I'm wearing the witch mask. And as some of you may know, people back in the day used to literally burn witches. People they thought were magical. Yeah, it's pretty sad. A lot of innocent lives were lost back in the day over witch hunting. And it makes sense why he's saying you don't got to be startled by the bonfire because, well, they used to burn the witches alive. I am glad we are not living in those times. Okay, so anyways, moving on. You guys know about the new Year 2 rare Fast Knot mask that we can obtain. If you don't, the new ones are the Raven mask, the Crazy Guy mask, the Death Claw mask, 
and the Father Winter Power Armor helmet. These are the new ones that are in the game this year. And believe it or not, you don't get any kind of special dialogue when wearing any of these new masks. And I believe I know why. The reason why is because, simply, the voice actor didn't return to create some voice lines reacting to these masks. Let me go ahead and show you all some quick samples, just for some proof that there is no special dialogue while wearing these new rare masks that we can get. We are still preparing for the festivities, but do return soon. The town is above with activity, especially the honey house. So, yeah, as you heard there, he didn't say anything special. Now, keep in mind, I did only show you a sample of it. Some of you may be thinking, well, what if you just keep talking to him? Well, I did. Trust me, I did. For any of them that didn't work, I made sure to talk to him at least more than 15 different times. Because there are a few voice lines that he does cycle through. And he didn't react to any of the masks. Actually, the masks that he doesn't react to are specifically the Sun Mask, the Old Man Winter Mask, for some reason. That really, really surprised me. I thought all the masks from year one were going to have some kind of special dialogue because that's when the voice actor created these voice lines, but no. But anyways, the Deathclaw Mask, the Raven Mask, and the Crazy Guy Mask, as well as the Father Winter Power Armor Helmet, doesn't have any kind of special reaction from the Master of Ceremonies, sadly. Once again, I'm pretty sure the reasoning of this is just simply the voice actor didn't return to make voice lines overreacting to these masks. I don't think it's that big of a deal though. Like I said, this was highly underlooked. A lot of the community didn't even know this was a thing. That's why I'm making this video to help shed some more light on this because, you know, Bethesda did take the time to implement these voice lines for once again, our enjoyment. But yeah, I guess that's our wrapping up this video, everyone. Hopefully you found this enjoyable. A friendly reminder here real quick at the end. If you found this enjoyable, it would be greatly appreciated if you could take a little bit of your time and leave a like on this video because that would help it get more passed around the community so more players can learn about this. As always, though, that is totally up to you. Also, I highly recommend for you all to go check out my Twitter. I'll have a link to it down below in the description. I am highly, highly active on there, and I'm constantly talking about Fallout 76. But yeah, I'm out of here, everybody. Thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Until next time, remember to try to stay safe out there. Peace.